Hi, I'm Dana McGregor and I'm a research scientist at Rothamsted Research. Rothamsted is the longest running agricultural research institute in the world. We're one of eight strategically funded institutes in the UK, so similar to the John Innes Centre, we receive strategic funding to deliver innovative, world-class bioscience research and training. Rothamsted's focus instead is on making scientific breakthroughs that help agricultural systems be more efficient and effective. And we do the science that's needed to feed a growing global population without damaging our planet's environment. It was established in 1843, and we have experiments that have been continuously running for the 177 years that we've been open. So we have a really long and successful history of doing good agriculturally focused science. But we're also continuously innovating and discovering new things too. For instance, we've recently made some breakthroughs in understanding how to better attract bees and beneficial insects into the fields, created a bread wheat that's better for us, and we've created a plant that makes fish oils in its seeds. Check out our website for more details and more stories. But I haven't contributed to any of those things. Instead, my role here is a research scientist, and my specialization is as a weed molecular biologist. Really, what that means is that I'm trying to apply the tools and techniques that, I've, that are very commonly used on model organisms, like the stuff that made those breakthroughs that I just mentioned possible, to weeds, which cause real problems for farmers. So as a molecular biologist, I'm interested in determining what's needed for a plant to do the particular thing that we're interested in. I'm looking to identify the genes, the proteins that do the work to keep the plants alive, no matter what challenge nature or farmers throw at it. The plant that I work on most is called blackgrass, and it's a grass weed that grows in winter cereals, like wheat and then barley. And it's the UK's number one most troublesome and costly weed. It's problematic and black grass is also present in across Western Europe from Spain to Sweden. So to give you an idea of what a major problem this weed is, a recent paper showed that farmers lose nearly half a billion pounds of income to it annually, and it reduces wheat harvests by 820,000 tons. So these numbers are really difficult to put into context. So essentially, it, black grass in the fields means that we have 1.2 billion loaves of bread, less than we should, and the money side of things. With, one, with not 0.4 billion pounds, you could buy 2,000 houses, each of which cost 200,000 pounds. So if we're gonna feed everyone in a way that's sustainable and efficient, then getting black grass out of our fields is a very good step to take. So at Rothamsted, I work to understand how weeds can still live in our agricultural fields despite, despite the fact that farmers are regularly spraying herbicides on them, plowing them under, and generally trying to get rid of them in any way that they can. Recently, what I've been focusing on is trying to figure out how weeds survive herbicides. And these are the chemicals that are designed to keep weeds out of our crops. So I'm trying to understand what genes or combinations of genes these weeds use to avoid or modify the herbicide so that it doesn't kill them. I've always rooted for the underdog, and although weeds are incredibly costly to control uh, and they lower the amount of food that we get back from our agricultural fields, I can't help but admire these plants who survive despite our very best efforts to kill them. So for me, studying weeds gives us two things. One, we can figure out what makes the weeds able to survive and therefore use that information to make better crops. So that's a good thing. We can learn from the weeds to make a better crop. And at the same time, we can figure out the weeds kryptonite. So what are their weaknesses? And we can use these weaknesses to find new and develop innovative control solutions. I'm very happy when I'm doing science that I find truly interesting, but also I like doing science that might help somebody and solve some of the big problems that the world is facing. So being a weed molecular biologist suits me quite well. It's really hard work sometimes mentally, where I have to come up with new ideas, design new experiments that will test those ideas, make sure that they're well-founded and well-funded. And sometimes the work is physically difficult. I'm planting out huge containers of large experiments or counting lots of them and, and, and making sure that they're doing the right things. So physically and, and mentally, it's, it's hard work, but it's also very rewarding work. And because I'm working in, in a field that's relatively new and upcoming, every little breakthrough is a really big deal. And again, these little steps could come back to really helping farmers so that they can produce more food for us efficiently. So this is what I do and why I do this. I got here by being hardworking, persistent, and taking advantage of opportunities when they were possible. And if they weren't given to me, making opportunities for myself when I could. So again, my name is Dana McGregor. I'm a research scientist at Rothamsted Research. And feel free to get in touch with me if you have any questions about anything that I've talked about today.